Well, welcome to this video. Today we're going to look at commands, and we're going to start off this series with a command that I use more than anything. That is the slash fill command. So if you don't know anything about it, or, or if you know just enough about it to get yourself in trouble, stick around and we're going to explain how all this works. So to get started with fill commands, the first thing we need to do is figure out the area we want to fill. And I've already set this up with two of these purple wools here to indicate the corners of a cube that we're going to create with a command. If we come to the corner and we hit F3, uh, we have a command here or in our F3 screen, we have some numbers here on the left. And this XYZ is actually the block we're standing on here, shaking my cursor over it. And then we also have down here at the bottom looking at block. And this is the number that we need, 23, 5, and 14. If you want to, just type that in chat, 23, 5, and 14. You can hit enter, and that's gonna show up in your chat. And then you can come over to your other one, do the same thing and hit T, look, find the looking at block, and that's gonna be seven, 15, and 26. Go ahead and hit enter. Now you have the numbers in there. We forgot to put space between seven and 15, but I believe I can. we can remember that. So at this point, just hit T, jot that down on a piece of paper because you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to reference the uh, chat while we're in a command block or in the fill. Or if you're actually going to do this in the fill, you can still see it. So slash fill 23, 5, and 14. Hit space. And then you're going to go 7, space 15, space 26. And then this is where you're going to decide what you're going to fill here. And we're gonna type in Minecraft with the colon, and we're just gonna Acacia, and you can tab down to hit planks and then hit enter, and that'll fill that in right there. And that's how you do the basic fill command. Now I've set up some here in the command block with the same coordinates, and this one right here is just gonna replace all that with andesite. So we're gonna click the button there, and now we have an andesite cube. Now I've got some, signs here to kind of indicate what everything does if you were to download this world for yourself and to play with these commands which i do suggest you do if you have any difficulty with it and this will tell you the purple wool represented the coordinates which we want to fill our cube so this is command one and that gave us andesite command two it's a simple fill plus destroys what happens is is we're going to replace uh, the andesite with red concrete, but what that's going to do is also destroy the andesite that's here and drop all those blocks for us, just like if we were to break them in survival. A little bit of a lag spike there because it broke 2,431 blocks, and we have all those andesites sitting there. That's a good way to use that if you ever actually need the blocks to drop, and it's a pretty cool design here. So or a pretty cool command here. So this is something that can come really useful if you're playing mini games or designing something. And it's really nice in creative mode for testing things. So this is what I mainly use these fields for. All right, uh, command three is the outline. So what, what the outline is gonna do is replaces the very outer layer of this cube with another block here. We're gonna look at the command and we're gonna replace it with glass. And then you're gonna add the outline tag at the end. So if you look here, we've got destroy, which is the one we did in command two, hollow, keep, outline, replace. So we're gonna go ahead and hit outline because that's what we wanna do. And then we're gonna click the button and that's gonna basically leave the red on the inside and give us a outlined cube there with glass. Now what we're gonna do in this one is the hollow tag, very same fill command. We're just going to change that outline to hollow and what that's going to do is pretty obvious. It's going to make the glass cube hollow and take away the red just like that. And then we have a command here to replace and it's going to replace only the blocks that are glass and replace them with another block. So it's not going to fill the entire cube there. So what you have to do is make sure you put the block that you want to end up there in the first line so let's just scroll to the left here so we can see the whole commands fills the same command and then minecraft the block that we want to end up with after the command goes here the blue stained glass and then your re replace tag and then the minecraft glass because glass is what's already there so we're going to hit the button and we end up with blue stained glass right there 
All right, so let's uh, let's see that in action further. So what we're going to do is go back to try command. We're going to do command two, three, and then come back to this one, which is number five. So let's check this out. So this is going to replace that glass with the red concrete. All right, and then we're going to go three, which is going to make the outer layer glass. And now we're going to replace that glass with the blue so you can see that it only replaces the glass just like that. So now we have a red interior there. It's a pretty cool command so you know that that allows you to do a lot of things building and creative as well and uh, yeah that's pretty cool so what we're gonna do is go back here to this reset and it's gonna reset everything like it was when we first came here and delete all those entities on the ground as well that way you can play with it some more yourself and there's one final command we want to look at it's the keep tag for the fill fill command and what that's gonna do is actually replace all the air blocks in the cube, but we're all, it's gonna keep anything that's not air. So this purple corner, that purple corner, and this red wool are all gonna stay intact. And I think this is one of the coolest commands in the fill period. And let's have a look at it. Slash fill, the coordinates, Minecraft glass, because that's what we wanna replace the air with. And keep means anything that is not air is gonna stay there. So if we were just to change, um, this command and or and or run it again it would stay exactly the same because there's no air we could change the glass to anything let's change the glass to uh, acacia leaves let's do that if we hit the button it shouldn't change at all because there's no air in that cube so that's what to keep in mind is that there has to be air for it to replace glass all right, and then we're going to hit this reset here, and it's going to leave just the the purple wool and the red wool there. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope I explained things well. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Um, and, you know, this is something I use all the time, but I'm not a command expert. I'm just trying to share the knowledge that I have with you guys. So I may or may not be able to answer it right away, but I'll try my best to find an answer for you guys. Well, anyways... Uh, if you have a, a set of commands that you want to know more about, let me know because I'm trying to learn as much of this as I can myself. Until next time, guys, this has been Ike, and I hope you find your smile today. Goodbye.